Hello friends, you're watching India Today Tech and in this video I'm going to unbox latest Vivo smartphone, the Vivo X21. It has a design very similar to the Vivo V9. As you can see, there's a notch at the top, but another big thing about the phone is that it has an under display fingerprint scanner. We'll tell you all about this phone in this video, all the specs and I leave the price details in the description below. Do check it out. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so by clicking the link below. So this is not the first smartphone from Vivo to come with a fingerprint scanner inside the display, but unlike the Apex, the Vivo Apex smartphone, which was till now a concept phone, the Vivo X21 is available in the market and you can buy it right now. So let's take a look at the phone's design and if you had seen the specs clearly it's a great upgrade from the vivo v9 but if you compare it with the oneplus 6 the specs are not that good specifically if you talk about the processor we'll take a look at both the phones in a bit but right now there is the vivo x21 let's pull it out of the cover and take a look at the phone's design it has a glass back very similar to the oneplus 6 but the dual camera at the top is on the left corner there is a notch at the top the phone is made out of aluminum and feels quite classy it's not very heavy there are curved edges at the back of the phone and it's quite thin you'll see the antenna lines are prominently visible on the top and at the bottom as well and a peculiar thing you would notice is that the SIM slots are placed at the bottom. Anyways, there are a lot of other surprising things about the phone, but let's turn it on and take a look at the other box contents. So first up, there's a SIM ejector tool and quick start guide. Then there's another document with important information and warranty card. Then we have a back cover. It's a clear case with accented corners and edges, which looks quite neat. It's, it's not very flexible but it's not a hard case either. Next, there's a neatly packed micro USB cable. And then we have a box with earphones. So the earphones look pretty neat. It has a remote control as well with buttons and a microphone at the back. And lastly, there is a travel adapter with two amperes of output rating. It's an 18 watt charger, it supports fast charging on the phone, but it's still a micro USB interface. So I'm not pretty sure how much it will take for the Vivo X21 to charge fully from zero. Let's quickly take a look at the specs of the phone. The phone comes with a 6.2 inch display with 19 to 9 aspect ratio. Unlike the Vivo V9, it has a Super AMOLED panel with full HD plus resolution. It runs a Snapdragon 660 under the hood with 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage. The phone has dual cameras at the back with 12 megapixel primary and 5 megapixel secondary camera. The primary camera has 1.4 micrometer pixel similar to the iPhone 7's camera and it has an f1.8 aperture with dual face detection autofocus. At front there's a 12 megapixel camera but it's different from the rear 12 megapixel camera. It has a f2.0 aperture and can record 1080p videos. The phone runs Android 8.1 out of the box but there is Vivo's own skin, the FunTouch OS 4.0 on top of it. The phone houses a 3200mAh battery and there's a signature feature, the under display fingerprint scanner on the phone. We'll let you know in the full review but for now, let's quickly take a look at the phone. So the Vivo X21 follows a design strategy of many of Vivo phones that we have seen in the past but it's made much more premium this time. The glass back is slightly curved and the metal frame is sandwiched between the front and the back part of the phone which is glass and you will see that there is a notch at the top and a very thin bezel at the bottom the corner bezels are also almost negligible very much like the iphone 10. at the bottom you'll see there's a micro usb port which is quite surprising for a phone of this price next to it there's a primary microphone and further is a speaker grill the sim slot at the bottom has a hybrid arrangement which means you can add sim 2 or micro sd to expand the storage at the top of the phone has a 3.5 mm audio jack and secondary microphone the buttons on the right volume rocker and the lock button are slightly recessed they are made out of metal which gives them a good feedback but they're not very much jutting out of the body now let's quickly set up the phone and very curious to use the fingerprint scanner on the device
Alrighty, we have set up the fingerprint scanner and we'll set up the face unlock later. But first, let's quickly check the speed of this fingerprint scanner. So I've locked this phone and as you can see, as soon as you lock the smartphone, a faint light appears at the bottom part of the display which signals you to touch to get the fingerprint scanner working. Not very fast I would say compared to other phones. So most phones are nowadays touch and remove and the finger gets recognized but on the under display fingerprint scanner you need to touch and keep your finger for a second or two to unlock the smartphone. Now let's compare the fingerprint scanner of the Vivo X21 with the OnePlus 6 head to head. 3, 2, 1 and here we go. And here we go. So as you would see the conventional fingerprint scanner is much more quick at unlocking the smartphone. We also tested the fingerprint scanner with wet fingers but it doesn't seem to work. The Vivo X21 uses an optical fingerprint scanner which is placed below the display. Though it doesn't work with wet fingers and it's slower than usual fingerprint scanners, Vivo is apparently the first company to come out with the fingerprint scanner under the display. It's not Samsung, it's not Apple, it's Vivo. So the interface is very different. The experience is far from what you get on the OnePlus 6 which is much closer to the stock Android and there are a bunch of third-party apps as well you get on the phone that is Amazon, PhonePay, NewsPoint, UC Browser and other stuff. There are many uh, applications from Vivo as well to clutter the interface but compared to previous Vivo phones the X21 has a slightly better hardware so we're expecting a better performance on this device. The settings menu as you can see also has a lot of options and uh, it takes a lot of time to look for things there is no search menu at the top as well so if I'm looking for about phone for example I am bound to look at every other option and find the about phone option which I don't see in the menu probably it's in the more settings option and yes if you don't know already Vivo's Funtouch UI is very much inspired from the iPhone's iOS and that you can see in the toggle that you get from the bottom or the recent apps menu which are displayed in a card like thing and if you want to split the screen you can't do it by just long pressing the app that you can on most android smartphone you need to go in the app and swipe with three fingers to initiate multi window and then and you will see that most apps on the phone do not support the multi-window feature and these are the apps that actually support multi-window which is far less than what usual android phones support a good part about the interface is the always on display that shows the fingerprint scanner position clearly and you will need it initially to find out where exactly the fingerprint scanner is the display itself is quite bright fully legible outdoors and has good viewing angles the color reproduction is nice and looks pleasing to the eyes thanks to the bezel less design the videos can be stretched to fill the display and almost entirety of the phone. If you have nothing against the notch, you'll have nothing against the display. The camera on the phone also surprised us. The autofocus is fast and so is the shutter speed. Here are the few shots that we clicked during the short time we spent with the phone. The colors are good, outlines are sharp and it is evident from the macro shots that the phone can capture very clean outlines. Indoors, the performance is not very good but that we will be able to tell only after precisely comparing it head to head with some other phones. Though the details are average and in low light the shots don't impress. But the worst part is the camera overly brightens the face as if a beauty mode is on by default in the background which is really irritating. So this is the Vivo X21 guys. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. We'll be coming up with a full review and we'll also be comparing the phone head to head with several smartphones in the coming days. So subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. If you have liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.